Good evening, Ceci. How are you? Uh, good evening. I'm fine. Thank you. And you? Everything is fine. Welcome on board. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Let's begin. Good evening. Today is class eight. This is June 9th. And the topic is time contrasts. In the agenda, we have time contrasts intonation with time phrases and conditional sentences. So <clears throat> the objectives are to discuss time relationships, past and present, and to make conditions. All right, we're going to begin by doing this exercise. Uh, What are we going to do? The, the purpose of this is to describe past habits. I used to, I used to, I used to. Now, uh, please read the sentences and decide which the correct option is. What do you think is the right the, the right form for number one? I used to go to the beach every day. Excellent. Yes, let us see. Mm -hmm. um, oh yes. <laughs> yes, let us see. Yes. Okay, excellent. You're right. <clears throat> what about the next one? So that, sorry that I didn't number them, okay? They are seven and six, so they are 13. Okay, what about the second? I didn't. Mm -hmm. I didn't use to play tennis. Uh, which one, A, B, C, or D? Uh, uh, A. A, correct. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's A. You, someone might say, why A? Ah, we use the present because the auxiliary is taking the responsibility of tense. Didn't is past tense, so use. Didn't use to play tennis. Okay, the next one.
What do we use in the next one? Susan. Susan used to drink milk when she was young. What could be B. the problem? What could be the B. problem with that answer? Um, B. Yes. What could be the problem with that answer? Mm, I don't understand, teacher. Okay. The answer is not correct. Why do you think it's not correct? It's not correct. No, it's not. Uh, but yeah. why do you think it's not correct? Mm. Study the phrase carefully. What's the problem? The verb? I'm going to show you. Uh -huh. Yes, it's a verb, right? The verb is wrong. It's in the present. Use yeah. and it has to be what? used right used used to we, we pronounce it used to no used, used to but used to and it has a d this one doesn't have a d that is the only problem so what the what's the correct answer a exactly a has didn't to. a didn't used to drink milk. exactly susan didn't used to drink milk when she was young okay okay Yes. What about the next one? I didn't. Yes. I didn't. Uh huh. I didn't what? A used to. A right. Mm -hmm. Exactly. The auxiliary is in the past, but the verb is in the present. It's in present. So didn't use, I didn't use to watch television. What about the next one? What do you use to a. at school? Letter A. Letter A, right? What did you use to wear at school? Exactly. Mm -hmm. And you say, I used to wear a uniform. I used to wear a uniform. Okay, the next one. Today. Uh huh. Letter B. The problem with B, what's the problem with B? It doesn't have two. It's A. Uh huh. It has to be letter D or B, right? Letter D. Yeah, D. D of dedo. Uh -huh. D. Yeah. Did they used to go to the cinema? Did they used to go to the cinema? Okay, the cinema. Okay. Letter D. Letter D. What about people? People. Letter A. Letter A. Letter A. People used to travel on horses. People used to travel on horses. Yeah, that's correct. The next one. Ed. Ed is to be uh, letter B. B, right? Used to be my friend, but he was in Canada now. So if he's not your friend anymore, well, I don't know. <laughs> Many years ago, he, he left. So I Always there are friends, but in the distance. Maybe, but the problem, <laughs> he never called, I, never write, so I don't know. Maybe not. <laughs> so how about the next one? We used to. What is the meaning of marvelous? Mm 
The marbles are the little balls to play. The the bolas. 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 Yes. Bolas. Bolas. Uh -huh. We used to. Yeah, hey, I used to. Uh -huh. We. So we used to play marbles. The next one. My mother used to cook to, to cook for me. Now my yes. wife cooks at home. Uh huh. A. A. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. A. My mother used to cook for me, but now my wife cooks at home. Okay. I only cook on occasions. Now the next one. I think it's the C. I used to start work at night o'clock. Uh-huh. Letter C? It's no letter A. The problem with C is that pass. we have a D. Okay, it's past Abby. You're right. We are working, talking about past habits. habits. Yeah, past habits. Yes, yes. I used to start work at nine o'clock. Uh -huh. Okay, the next one. Uh, letter C. Letter C, right? Yes. We didn't use to swim in the river. Yeah, it's correct. Now the last one, Helen. Used to uh, letter A. Yes, letter A. Helen used to play football in Brazil. Used to play. Football is the British form. Americans say soccer. Helen used to play soccer in Brazil. All right, that's that's it. Piece of cake. Right? Isisimo. Think. What were some things that you used to do as a child? What were some things that you used to do as a child? I used to I used it to bike. My used to ride, ride my bike. You used to ride a bike. Mm. Yes. Okay, nice. I, yeah. I used to climb uh, on the trees. <laughs> used to climb trees. Yes, me too. Yes. We, to eat mangoes. Ah, <laughs> okay. Marañones. Ah, Marañones. Okay. Yes. The both. <laughs> both of them. <laughs> yes, I used to eat Marañones. I mean, cashews, right? I used to eat cashews, but not anymore. Uh, over here, there, is, there aren't any. So, but when I grew up, I used to eat the ones that were red and the ones that were yellow. <laughs> I, I, prefer the, I prefer the red ones. They were sweeter than the yellow ones, okay? In that place, not necessarily the yellow are less sweet. <laughs> but in that place, the red ones were sweeter than the yellow ones. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it, and Jocote, no, uh, Nances. Yes. <laughs> only that Nances, you don't climb up the trees to get them. You only no. pick up the ones that are on the floor. <laughs> you were big Nances, but I say big Nances. Wow. <laughs> they were, wow, they were very delicious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I buy Nances sometimes, but... We are never the same. No. Is somebody give me nonsense today? <laughs> I remember. Ah, okay. Excellent. <laughs> yeah. Nonsense are, nonsense are good. Okay. What other activities did you use to do as a child? I, I used, used to... to play Mika. <laughs> used to play Mika. Yes. That is tag. Used to play tag. <laughs> Touch and go, touch and go or tag. 
Yes, okay, excellent. I used to play marbles, trompos, yo-yo, que no sé cómo se dice. Yo-yo is yo-yo. Only trompo is top. T-O-P. Ah, used to play top, mar I mean marbles, and yo-yo. Wow, yes, me too. I used to play mm -hmm. with a wheel. Canicas, ¿cómo se dice? Marbles, Mario. Mar oh, okay. Mar okay. Uh -huh. Bolas en español. Bolas. Eh, en salvadoreño. Salvadoreño, yes. Exacto. Eh, luz de canicas means something else in Spanish. <laughs> yeah, I don't have the canicas anymore. Well, I have some, but those are not the original ones. Those are the ones that I bought for somebody else as a present, but never gave them. So I have them. Marbles. They are nice. Okay, what did you used to do as a child, Mario? Do you remember? I used to uh, play football. You used to play soccer, okay. Yes. Excellent, very good, yes. I used to play soccer too with a plastic ball. And we would leave uh, the nails, <laughs> the nails on the ball and on the rocks, right? And the, and the toes, very big toes like hocotes. Yes. <laughs> Because we used, to, we used to play soccer without shoes. Without we, shoes. Wow. We put the shoes as the goal. And then we used to play without shoes. Okay. Wow. So, yeah. At the end, the toes were like that, like hocotes. Yeah. Very red. <laughs> All right. What else did they used to do us? Oh, with my brothers. We used to make a ghost hunt in the yard at the night. <laughs> uh -huh. Let me see. Oh. Ghost, ghost, ghost hunt. hunt. Ghost hunt. Wow. Yes. <laughs> ghost <laughs> fantasmas. Yes, fantasmas. Yes. <laughs> wow. like that, eh? <laughs> You should, you should come to my house and you, you don't need to go looking too far. <laughs> well, no, no, what's the thing we do with my brothers? I have two older brothers, so they play that. Uh, I play that too. <laughs> okay, excellent. Yeah, over here, the ghosts come to hunt us. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Ghostbuster. <laughs> who do we who do we call? Who who do we call? Go call Ghostbusters, right? Say it louder, louder. Ghostbusters. Okay, excellent. Yes. Let's continue, my friends. That is nice. Okay, let us see. We talk about the contrast, time contrasts, past, present, future. Let's see, a few years ago, not many people lived here. You remember the dialogue, right? A few yes. years ago, many people, okay, not many people lived here. These days, the population is growing fast. Soon, there will be a lot of shopping malls. So, past, present, and future. Or people used to shop at grocery stores. Today, people shop at supermarkets. In 20 years, people might uh, might uh, groceries by computers. Oh, I, I didn't put buy. People might buy groceries by computer, but I can fix that. I'm going to write the verb. Imagine, no verb. Okay, buy. I'm going to put it black to pretend uh, that he was born there. <laughs> to pretend that he was born there, I'm going to just change the color to black. Okay, this black. So let me see bigger. A little bigger. Yeah, this is the right size. No, but it's not the right place. And, uh, yeah, no, it's not the right size. Okay, this is the right size. I believe. 
All right, my dear ones. Maybe, yeah, it looks like he was born there. Okay. So in 20 years, people might buy, might buy groceries by computer. In the future, people are going to use cars even more. So you say like this, 50 years ago, people, wait, no, I didn't write L. I was very tired. Okay. Wait. <laughs> In the past tense, wake is walk. 50 years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, people drive their cars instead. In the future, people are going to use cars even more. Okay. That's right. Now, my dear ones, what are we going to do? We're going to match this one. Match the numbers and the letters. So I'm going to send you two groups so that you can work together and you can match them. Okay. Let's see. I'll stop sharing and we create the groups. How many people are we? I didn't realize how many. So we're 13 with me. So it means 12. Okay, nice. So four groups. All right, the groups are opening. This is page five. Hear me? Yes, we can hear you. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Loud, okay. Loud and clear. Yes. So, bottom. <laughs> okay, um, the number one, I think, is going with the dealer before the automobile. Um, People didn't travel as much from city to city because it's more problematic going on bus. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Monica, can you do the number two? I have no response. Oh, Maria. Me, <laughs> thank me. Oh, what works? Oh. Okay. Gracias, Gaby. Okay. Thank you, Gaby. Okay. You're welcome. The number one is letter D. Okay. Before the automobile, there will B. Uh, no, I think it has B. There are B, right? Soon. Because he's talking about cities. It's a very serial contamination around the world. Pollution. Mm. Okay. 
Las seis son. <laughs> People work more than 40 hours a week. <laughs> yeah, it's, that's true, isn't it? That's the story. That's the... It's probably. It's Dr. Mike Kurt for comment. Doctors. Okay. It's leather. H. And the number A. Sometime in the future, they will probably be serious in the space. It's A, B, C, D, E. Yes. Yes. Hey, finish. <laughs> it's different. Uh, the platform. No. G two. Is same. It's the same. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. We finish. Then. Excellent. You finished. Yes. How, how is the midterm? Are you going to do it tonight? I didn't. Oh, I already you already did it. Excellent. Good. All right. That's nice. Nice, nice. Okay. In a moment, we're going to go back to the main group. You may talk about the immortality of the craft. Okay. In the next hundred years, mm. Mm. I think E. No, no problem. Teacher, finish. Yes. Wonderful. Excellent. So yeah. talk, talk about the immortality of the crab for a moment. In a moment, we're going to go back to the main group. Okay, teacher. Okay. okay. Ocho con la F, sí. Sí, así quedaría. Y la seis. Con la... la seis con la G. Seis. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's match. Let's see. Before the automobile, what do we have before the automobile? Uh, the letter D. Letter D, right? Excellent. We have letter D. Before there were supermarkets. Letter A. Letter A. People used to shop at small stores. Uh, in England, they are called the uh, farmers, farmers market. In the United States, they are called open markets. Okay, so they're different. You find uh, only fresh vegetables, fruit, and dairy products. You have like some like cream, cheese, cottage cheese, uh, egg, organic kind, water. Hmm? Sorry, organic, organic kind, very organic food. Yes, 
Uh -huh. Okay, about 500 years ago, what? The G. G People right. played the first game of golf. People play the first game of golf. Okay. Yes. Highlander played with his friends. Okay. In most mm -hmm. offices today, what? F. 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 In people most work. offices today, people work maybe, more. Maybe, more. Uh, more. More. <laughs> more. <laughs> it's more than uh, four yeah. years. hours a week. There is J1. Yeah. So no, no, mayor. More. Imagine. Oh no, my spelling is bad. Okay. So, <laughs> no. Okay, more. So, no. Okay. What about the other one? In many cities nowadays, what? Letter B. Pollution. Okay. Yeah. Letter B and pollution is becoming a serious problem. Excellent. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. In many cities nowadays, pollution is becoming a serious problem. Okay, excellent. Sorry that there is a period here and a period here, but it has to be a comma, not a period. Time expression, comma, and then the rest. So soon what? Letter C. C. Most people are going to work at home. Okay, yes, sure. Okay, different colors, maybe this color. Don't like it, but it's different. Okay, so soon most people are gonna work at home. In the next hundred years, what? Mm, letter A. Doctor might find okay. a cure. Yes. Maybe this one, right? Yes, because the, another one is uh, less probable. Yeah, it's exciting. Need a, a little more of time. More time, you're right. Uh -huh. Okay, okie dokie. And sometime in the future, some years in the future. Mm -hmm. Later. The, probably. Probably. <laughs> it's difficult, difficult to say. Mm -hmm. Maybe yes, maybe no, most probably, who knows? Okay. Like La Chimoltrufia says. Mm -hmm. All right, excellent, wonderful. Now, my friends, let's continue. Um, what predictions can you make about, or what contrasts have you observed? For example, I'm going to talk about Chalatenango. Chalatenango, many years ago, had a lot of trees. It used to have a huge forest. There were a lot of trees. But you visit Chalatenango now, it's embarrassing. A lot of the trees are gone. Soon, there will be no trees at all. Yeah, so all the beauty, the green beauty has disappeared. Okay, uh -huh. what have you observed? Past, present, and future? Past. Past, present, and future? Uh, like the um, one? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, past, present, and future. Yes. What things In have you past, there were many trees. Now, just a little trees in the just a few trees. future, they're gone. They will be gone. Yeah. They're gone. Okay. What other things can we say about that? Similar to that. For example, children used to play outside. They used to run, they used to invent games, right? Play. Pull the onion. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Pull the onion. And also, they would play tag, hide and seek. 
police and thieves, uh, maybe they would uh, like uh, a la vibora de la mar, right? You remember? Yes. <laughs> or, chancha balancha. Chancha balancha or las espadas de marfil, you remember? Yes. <laughs> Children used to play those games. Uh, but now children play only on the cell phone and they yes. are always inside. Imagine the future. In the future, how do you think they're going to play? Maybe with... Uh, uh, without interaction with others. Exactly, without interaction with other people. So, oh, that's another person. Look, daddy, that is a person over there. <laughs> yes. I've never seen a person. Virtual classes, virtual games, virtual everything. So, my goodness, they will have virtual lives. <laughs> they will never meet people. That's too bad. Okay, what else? Uh, when I was young and university, we have to do homework, uh, but we must to read and think about the and, and write. Now there's a copy page, copy page in the computer or in the tablet or in the iPhone. It's true. Yes, in the future. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe searching Google. <laughs> but it's for now the searching. In the future, there's gonna be a sheet with all the information. Yeah, and you put it in the back of the head. <laughs> <laughs> the make okay. is real. Okay. You only gonna choose the at least for the basic information. Mm -hmm. For the basic years, can be. Yes, the information for basic things. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> like encyclopedias or stuff like that. Okay, so in the future, people will take a pill and all of the knowledge will be transferred to their brains. <laughs> they will have an electrical discharge <laughs> and everything will be in the brain. Imagine imprinted memories. So you won't have to go to school. You just go to a place, they connect you to the computer, and they you say, What do you want to be? An engineer. Okay. And so sure. transfer all of the software into your brain. And now you know how to be an engineer and everything. Wow. <laughs> Imagine. In that day. Can be. <laughs> yes, that day. The Matrix. You remember how Neo, Neo learned uh, uh, what? Kung Fu and other things? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yes. With a program. <laughs> All for the guns and, and everything, how to use it. Uh, the programs. With, with just uh, the chip about that. <laughs> uh, exactly. All right, let's continue, my friends. Let's continue. Intonation with time phrases. The purpose is to pronounce time clauses correctly. Listen and practice. Notice the intonation in these statements beginning with a time phrase. In the past, very few people use computers. Today, people use computers all the time. In the future, there will be a computer in every home. Okay, again, in the past, very few people use computers. Today, people use computers all the time. In the future, there will be a computer in every home. Okay, but this was written, this was written back in 19, 1998, something like that. So imagine this right now is false, okay? For today, right? People use- Today is like the future. <laughs> yes, exactly. 
Um, there is a computer in every home. Like in the past, people used to go to a... Cyber cafe. Exactly, they used to mm -hmm. go to an internet. Info center. An internet mm -hmm. cafe, right. Like, Do you remember the info centers? Info centers, exactly. Mm -hmm. Go to info centers. Used to go to internet cafes and uh, use your USB or your diskettes. Yes, the diskettes. <laughs> three, three point five or four. I have it in, in colors. The the diskettes. <laughs> yes, I have orange, blue, black. Different colors. Yes. <laughs> In my programs, basic, QW basic, uh, WordPerfect 5.1. Lotus 1. Lotus 1. Cuatro Pro. Cuatro Pro is, is now Excel, but uh -huh. was Cuatro Pro. Uh, oh, Lotus 1, 2, 3 is now Excel. Mm. Or maybe. MS DOS six. Yes, MS DOS. MS DOS six point eighty two, or WordStar. Who remember WordStar? WordStar was similar to Word. You could type a lot of things, and you even I now. I used this for uh, perfect. Mm -hmm. Wordpad. Ah, now it's Wordpad. Okay, at that time it was WordStar, and in the MS DOS it was Write. You remember? CMD. Yes. So it was like CMD, exactly. Okay. Uh -huh. Command. So, yeah. And maybe you remember the commands that you had to use attrib plus, attrib minus to hide and hide the programs, etc. Dear. Ah, dear. <laughs> ah, yes. Yeah, dear. Exactly. Uh -huh. So, yes, that was. Fun. It was fun. I liked it. How many of you remember when you used to uh, listen to music in Walkman? In a Walkman. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I had a Walkman that um, I I had a I put a, a cassette that was mm -hmm. ninety minutes, and then I it played all of the songs. When it got to the last one, took it changed direction, it began, began playing the other one automatically. The other side. Yeah, the other side. So I could be listening to music without changing the cassette. It automatically, automatically changed direction until the batteries died. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, it began, the song was, well, because the battery was dead, yes. <laughs> Yeah, it was nice. What other things do you remember that you used to do? We used to listen to music in uh, Walkman, okay? And um, cassettes and also CD. CD, uh -huh. CD player. CD players, yes, there were CD players. Discman. We had the Discman, the one that replaced the the Walkman, but even Walkman, many, yes. Many years after the many years after the Discman, I continued to use the Walkman. Mine was, um, let me see, what was the name? LG. It was an LG, but it was Iowa electric. No, it was electric. I something. Uh -huh. Iowa. Yeah. Iowa. It was yes. one that was Iowa. <laughs> Iowa. Uh -huh. It was Iowa. Iowa. It was very good. <laughs> it was very good. Yes. There were so many things. And now it's the Sony. <laughs> yes, that's true. Okay. What other things? Do you remember the TV? Yeah. You have to turn on and turn off with your hand. Oh, yes. yes. No control TV. <laughs> no, no, there's no remote control. <laughs> yes. and, you have to do what the, and you have zero channels. Zero. Uh, channels. Mr. Bean. Mr. Bean puts yes. a finger yes. <laughs> at the end of the uh -huh. stick and he changes the channels like that. 
-hmm. And she said that it's his remote control, right? So, okay, that is, yeah. Well, I have a TV. Of course, it's remote control, but it's not a screen. It's a TV, a regular set. It's like, ooh, old, super old. Yeah, very, very old. But it still works. Still works. And the uh, screens, probably they have a certain limit of number or a certain number of hours. But these TVs are eternal. They never break down. OK, let's see. Okay, what, what else do you remember? Televisions, typewriters. You remember the typewriters? I used to have, um, let me see, like what was the name? First I had a brother, but the brother was very hard. So I got another one. The other one was electronic, had an electronic part that I typed uh, let's say one complete or two complete sentences or three sentences. And then when I checked that the sentences were right in a small screen, I it printed it. it. Printed the whole three sentences. Instead of having to be correcting and correcting and correcting with the Xerox paper. Do you remember the Xerox paper that you used to put to erase? Yes. Uh -huh. So that was, oh my goodness. Yes. Okay. Let me see. We're going to make sentences with this. Next year, I'm going to, mm -hmm. in five years, I'll, uh -huh. in 10 years, I might. Mm -hmm. As a child, I used to, mm -hmm. five years ago, I simple pass. Nowadays, I do this. Okay. So, volunteers to make sentences with these phrases. Mm. What is nowadays? <laughs> nowadays is this in this moment. In la actualidad, nowadays. So you don't say actually. Actually means in realidad. Like when someone says, "Ah, but fulanito was absent yesterday." No, he was here. Actually, he was sitting next to me, right? Actually. And nowadays, is in la actualidad, right? Nowadays. In the past, uh, cars used to be ugly, heavy, ugly. Nowadays, cars are better looking and more powerful. Of course, they are not as strong, as sturdy as those old cars. Indestructible. Okay, uh -huh. so volunteers to make sentences. Somebody said next year I'm going to get married. Oh, okay, good. Teacher, could be next year I'm going to travel a lot. Excellent. Sure. Next year I'm going to travel to Canada. Ah, okay. Excellent. Yes. Very good. Fantastic. Maybe in 10 years, I might be another person. You will be the same person, but you will be more experienced. You will be wiser. A better person. <laughs> you will be wiser. Okay. Better. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe the same good person as you are right now. Only that wiser. Okay. 
blessed with many years, many more years. Okay. Other people? In five years, I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll be living in maybe United States. Okay, in five years, you'll be living in the United States. Excellent. Very good. Nice. Uh, nowadays, uh, I play basketball on weekend. Uh -huh. Okay, excellent. Nowadays, you're playing basketball on weekends. Okay, very good. In the past, life was expensive, you know, was cheap, simpler. Nowadays, life is more complicated and more expensive. Okay, somebody else, my dear Nitos? As a, as a child, I used to play ladron librado. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yes. As a child, I used to play ladron librado. Yes. Okay. Good. Somebody else? As a child, uh, I used to ride a bike. Yes, as a child, you used to ride a bike. Good. Another one? Five years ago, I lived with all my children. Nowadays, I only live with my husband. Mm -hmm. Five years ago, you were still living with your children. Oh, your children were still living with you. Oh, yes. Your children were still now, living with you. <laughs> now, 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 nowadays, I only live with my husband. With your husband, okay. Yes. Excellent, very good. Next year, I'm going to turn 47. Mm -hmm. And in mm -hmm. 10 years, I, I might be living in the USA with my son. Sure, of course, why not? Yes, very good. Somebody else? Five years ago, I started to, to study in the university. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, you have already finished. <laughs> you are about to finish. Okay. Excellent. Very good. Somebody else? Teacher, can, can I say five years ago, I was working in Panama. Uh-huh. Yes, five years ago I was working in Panama. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can say that. Very good. Yes. Okay. Somebody else? Next year I'm going to study a new career. Mm -hmm. Yeah, next year going to study an, a new career. Okay. Wonderful. Somebody else? In 20 years, I might buy up my house. Okay. I might buy your own, uh, my own house. Okay. Yes. Excellent. Thank you, my friends. Let's move on. Exercise three, conditional sentences. Conditional sentences. The purpose is to make future time conditions. Okay. Now, uh, the questions with the conditional sentences, we normally make them like, um, change color, white. If. Yes, if. Okay, I'm going to use this white here. Okay, let's see. If I see you tomorrow, 
if I see it tomorrow, I will pay you the money I owe. Okay. If I see you tomorrow, I will pay you the money I owe you. Okay. Let's analyze. This is about the present or is about the past? Present. It is talking in future? Yes, it's talking about the future. I'm talking about yes. tomorrow. Yes, the future. To talk about the future, I use the present. And in, in the if clause, in this after the comma, I use what? Will. What is what's another one that I can use? What's another possibility? Going, I going to. Okay, you may use, yeah, you may use going to too, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but you may use may, and you may use can. In conditionals, these are the ones that are more common. If I see you tomorrow, I may pay you the money I owe you. I may, maybe, perhaps, who knows, okay? If I see you tomorrow, I may pay you the money I owe you. If I see you tomorrow, I can pay you the money I owe you because I will see you, so I can pay you, okay? Now, what, what, what about probably, teacher? And gonna? Probably would be may. Mm. And, and going to is also possible, but normally in conditional sentences, it's better to use will the, for the result. Yes, you can use, if I see you tomorrow, I, I'm going to. However, it's strange, it's funny. Why, why is it funny? Going to is certain, and it is a plan. It's a plan. Maybe. Aha, uh -huh, it's a plan, it's certain. But this one, no. If I see you tomorrow means depending on tomorrow, if I see you, I will pay you. If I don't see you, I will not pay you. Why, why? <laughs> ah, exactly. Like, um, like the, the, the lady tells the person who helps her, hey, if the, the newspaper boy comes, pay him. And if he doesn't come, then don't pay him, right? <laughs> Obviously. If he comes, pay him. If he doesn't come, and if he doesn't come, don't, don't pay him. So that is a conditional. It depends. Okay, this result is not a result that is certain. It depends on the condition. If the condition is true, then the result is possible. If, if the condition is false, the result will never happen, <laughs> right? So for example, if I see you tomorrow, I will pay you. If I don't see you, I won't pay you, <laughs> right? So that is a condition. All right, maybe you, you're familiar, maybe you're familiar with a story. There is a story that there was a lady, there was a lady with a pot of milk on her head. She was making plans for the future. If she said, oh, if I sell all of the milk, I will buy chickens. If the chickens grow, I will sell them and I will buy a pig. pig. <laughs> I will buy a pig. If the pig grows and gets fat, I will sell it. If I sell it, I will buy a cow. <laughs> huh? 
and I will have more milk. And if I have two cows, I will have twice as much milk. If I have twice as much milk, I will make more money. If I make more money, I will buy more chickens. And if I buy more chickens, I will buy a pig. If I buy a pig, I, then I'll, I will sell it. And then I will buy a cow. Three cows. And suddenly. And be happy. <laughs> I, suddenly money. He dropped. To buy milk. He, <laughs> <and> the milk. <laughs> on, the, on the floor. So it's spilled on the, on the floor. Mm -hmm. All of the dreams disappeared. Now she said, if I get more milk tomorrow, I will eat lunch. <laughs> I will not. <laughs> Poor lady, right? So this is a, a story that is continued. If I do this, I will do this. Some people said, get up early and you will be rich. Really? Yes. If I get up early, I will get to the office early. If I get up to the if I get to the office early, my boss will pay attention. If he pays attention, he will promote me. If he promotes me, I will be the manager. If I am the manager, he gets more money. He get more money. Mm -hmm. If I continue doing a good job, I will be promoted and soon. I will, I will have my own business and I will, and if I have my own business, I will make more money. If I continue to make more money, I will be rich. So if I get up early, I will be rich. <laughs> and then the milk on the floor. <laughs> so that is, a, that's four conditional sentences, right? Okay, what plans? do you have depending on certain situations? If the pan pandemic finishes, I will travel to the United States and I will visit some friends. If I visit some friends, they will take me to different places in the United States. If I visit those places in the United States, I will be happy. If I am happy, I will come back with a big smile. So, imagine. Um, so, what can you say? If so, in the next to if you use present, on the other side you use will, may, or can, right? Will, may, or can. If I get up early, if I get up early tomorrow, I will get to work on time. If I get up early tomorrow, I will get to work on time. Okay, so my dear ones, today we're going to stop here. We will continue with conditional sentence tomorrow. Thank you for joining. God bless you all. See you next Monday, right? If you haven't done the midterm, please do the midterm. Okay, bye bye. Good night. Take care of yourself. Good night. Bye, bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, teacher. Good night, everyone. Bye, teacher. Bye, take care. See you on Monday. Have a nice day. Bye.